All right, folks, let's talk about fear of failure, being afraid, being afraid to begin, being afraid of anything. I don't even know what most people are afraid of when it comes to art, you know, being afraid that they can't do it. Maybe you're afraid that if you try to do it, it's not going to come out the way you want. And then you're going to be upset. You're going to cry. You're going to say that you can't do it. You're not good at it blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I think most of us are familiar with that. I've battled with this myself over the years. And what it comes down to is you can't let the fear stop you from having fun, from doing something that you could possibly enjoy and love to do. So let, let's say you start, you, you, want, you really want to do a painting, or maybe you, you haven't even started painting. Like, you really want to try painting, but you haven't started, or you want to try drawing and you haven't started. Whatever medium you're using, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. But you're afraid to. So why are you afraid to? Why haven't you started? What's, what's the holdup? Um, I think a lot of us are just afraid that we're not going to be able to do it. And the interesting thing about art is that when we create something like I'm doing here in this video, or any kind of painting or any kind of drawing, it's it's really, I, I think, at least for myself, I can feel like it's a part of me. You know, I, I put so much emotion and energy into it and time and dedication, and and we're afraid that when it comes out badly that it means that we're not enough um, or that we're bad at stuff or we suck, we're not good. I think that's a mis that's a misconception, you know, and I, I think maybe at, at some point, you know, in the past, I was afraid that, of people criticizing my work because I, I spent so much time and thinking and and it's something that I really enjoyed. And then when I showed it to someone else, they had all these thoughts about it, like, oh, you could do this better or maybe try this or, you know, I don't really like how you did this. And and it, it's it a lot of people take it personally, especially in the beginning. It's something I struggle with from time to time still. But um I've gotten a lot thicker skin over the years of not taking it personally. It's just a piece of work that I did. It's just something I created. It, it's not necessarily me. They're not criticizing me or myself. You know, it's just criticizing that something I created and they're just looking at it objectively. And they're, they're telling me these things so that I can improve. So that the next time I go to create something and pour all this emotion and soul out of myself onto this other piece of work that I can do it better. And maybe I'll feel better about myself. <laughs> but so the point is this having this fear of making mistakes. Let's let's really get to the heart of this because that's what it, a lot of people have trouble with, this fear of mistakes. And we all make them. I make them. I mean there's I put out so many videos of plain air adventures of me painting and the painting sucks. You know, it's like a seven minute video and the painting sucks. But I'm not here to just put out good stuff all the time. I'm here to share my journey, the reality of creating art. It's gonna happen with these drawing videos as well. Maybe this drawing I'm doing right now, this bunny drawing isn't as good as last week's drawing or the week before. But I wanna put it out. You know, it's, it's not a complete failure and I, I feel like I can learn from it. Others can learn from it. See any mistakes that I've made and, uh, you know, a lot of these things I'm doing, I'm just experimenting. But you have to put, you have to be willing to make mistakes. You have to be willing to experiment. Otherwise, you're not going to grow. Because think about this. I know there's, a, there's an interesting story I've, I heard. Um, I think a rabbi told this story. He, he read it in the uh, newspaper or something, some article years ago. But... It's about lobsters. It's very strange. It's very bizarre. But but listen, it's about lobsters, and that over time they have to they they grow and their shell has to come off and they grow a new one. Um, many animals do this. I'm not sure the exact process. I think it's called molting or something. Anyway, but for in order for them to grow, their shell gets tighter and tighter and tighter on them. They become more uncomfortable, more and more uncomfortable until eventually they have a breakthrough, boom, they bust out of the shell. And then the cycle repeats. They keep growing, they get to this uncomfortable phase, and then boom, they have a breakthrough, they break through it. 
And I think that's like a brilliant, that's a really great analogy for, for art making, for life in general, making mistakes, learning from them, and really getting out of your comfort zone, pushing yourself, experimenting, trying new things, and not being too afraid of the outcome. You know, just know that it's not, it's not you who made the mistake. You know, it's just something that happened. It's not, it, it doesn't, what I'm saying is it's not a reflection of you. So you don't have to feel like you're not good enough. I know there's probably some people out there that maybe feel that way. Maybe not all of us. Because uh, we have such a strong connection to our art a lot of times. You know, it's a very emotional process. It can be. It doesn't. It's not always an emotional process. A lot of it's technical, especially in the beginning for beginners. It's a very technical process. There's so many beginners out there that don't even get through the technical aspect. And I think that's a problem as well. Like, you really have to play with your materials and understand how they technically work so that you can really start creating art. And uh, that's a process I always go through with these pen and ink drawings. You know, I'm learning how to make marks and what kind of marks I can make, these technical processes. And once I figure that out, then I can start playing around with uh, creating art, having fun with it experimenting more you know i don't have to worry so much about the pin working the way i need it to work you know because i figured all that out i know what's going to give me the best result so definitely don't be afraid of making mistakes it's part of the process it's how we learn there's no great artist out there there's no great pianist or musician or any kind of art out there martial arts there's no great artist out there that came out of the womb and was just brilliant at it. You know, Mozart didn't come out <laughs> playing symphonies and piano pieces out the womb. You know, he wasn't this two-year-old piano master, you know? Like, he, he spent a lot of time. He sucked at the beginning, just like we all did. You know, maybe he had, he had a little bit of knowledge. Uh, maybe he was a little bit better for some reason. You know, and I think that's talent. I think there's just, like, 5% talent. You know, people always say, oh, wow, you're so talented. No, it's hard work. It's making mistakes. It's working through these things. It's having fun. It's experimenting. You know, there's so many things to this. But, but definitely don't be afraid of mistakes because that's how you learn. That's how you grow. And that's how you get better. That's really the key to it. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope it helped you out in some way. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. Take care of yourself. Peace.